it's really solidly made. It's very quick to use once you've set it up, which also doesn't take very long. It's very quick operation. And then it's gonna protect your screen from any bright light coming over it. So right now I'm gonna apply this protector on this RC remote. There is a backing plastic that peels off. So first piece, peel off, down. Just peel that off. There we go. So as you can see on the back, it's got the opposite side of the Velcro, which is gonna line up with the controller. And it has these bits to hold it closed when you fold it up again, which is a really nice touch. So let's see how it looks. So if we start with this bit here, it's just gonna line up there like so. You can in fact keep it attached like that. So it can act as a screen protector too. And then when you wanna use it, just open it like so fold it up here and it just sticks like so. And these bits allow you to move your sticks around without them being blocked by the edge here. So it gives you a nice spot to rest your thumbs. And when you're not using it, you literally peel those ones back, flip it down, boom, it's closed. And now it packs flat, ready to go. Now, if you're stuck in a situation where you're out in the bright sun and you don't have anything to protect the screen from the sunlight so you can actually see it, then you could be in a bit of a dire situation because if you can't see where the drone is looking and then the drone's hidden because it's like right next to the sun, it's too bright to see, you could essentially lose sight of where your drone is. Or you can't see what you're recording. And if you want to get the perfect shot and it's too bright to see what's on the screen, then you're in a bit of trouble there too. So this can solve that problem. It's a kind of leather type material, uh, but it's pretty hard. So it's got some sort of hardness inside it to make it rigid. But I love the fact that you just flip it down like so, and then it's protecting your screen. So an extra layer of protection, but it doesn't take up any more space because it's very, very thin. So that just slots straight in your bag with your controller and it works with the RC and the RC2. It takes minutes to set up and then you're good to go. So you could just buy it and then have it in the bag and when you need it, just crack it out and quickly fit it. Or you could just use it all the time and have it on your controller, protecting the screen when you're not using it and then quickly flip it up and open when you want to use it. Uh, when I first saw the, the listing, I was a bit, unsure about these flappy bits, but actually it makes perfect sense because if you didn't have those, you wouldn't really be able to control the drone properly. So these are there to allow you to get in there, but still protect the screen from light coming in. So all in all, a really excellent sunshade and highly recommended.